Imagine a little bit of Subnautica, Stranded Deep, Sunken Land, and even some Call of Duty rolled up into one strange mashup. Well, Sonoros is what you get. Sonoros deep down below is a very, very strange, underwater, unforgiving first-person survival game, which has no release date yet, and it's developed and published by Hunaya. But this looks absolutely insane. Something completely different, but all familiar at the same time. I love the look of this. It looks absolutely brutal, dark, dingy, with the survival aspects rolled into one. Sort of a horror survival game. Now, don't get me wrong, Subnautica definitely freaked me the fuck out in certain bits, and it was actually quite scary. So this looks like it could be quite good, and it looks like they've taken a lot of their inspiration from games like Subnautica, Stranded Deep, and Sunken Land. The combat looks a little bit more advanced than what Sunken Land had from what I've seen of it so far, and it looks a little bit more dingy and dark compared to Subnautica. Subnautica has this very bright, vibrant, childlike feel to it, although it's none of those things and it is quite intimidating and terrifying when you get to certain areas of the game. This looks like it's going to have that ring to it most of the way through. Now there's not much out there about the game at the moment, but what we do know is there is a strange virus that has eradicated human life on most of the world's mainland. So the only thing that's left is open sea. You'll be playing as Matthew Cole, a lead bioengineer working on Sonorus, a low frequency cure to eradicate the virus from soil alongside scientists from around the globe on board the Fortune, a floating military research facility. Now, there is an issue that you may have noticed in the start of the game. You're shot out the back of an aeroplane, and that is because the Fortune has been shipwrecked. So you are now the only hope left of humanity, and everything you thought you had has completely gone. Your mission is to stay alive and find a way to retrieve Sonoros in an everlasting battle against starvation, thirst, and ruthless enemies. So going by that, it sounds like it's going to have that very Subnauta-esque feel to it. We're going to be starting on the surface, and then we're going to make our way further down beneath the sea. Now, the reason I keep bringing up Subnautica is because there's a very specific part of the trailer that has massive Subnautica vibes. And that is this part here. Looks exactly like one of the guys from Subnautica. And that is this thing here, the Sea Emperor and Leviathan. They look very, very similar. Now, the game does have many features that Subnautica doesn't, such as a pretty detailed combat system. It looks like we're going to be able to shoot flares, use underwater rifles, underwater harpoons, all sorts of actual modern weaponry, things that we didn't get to see in Subnautica, which I think made the game what it was. Um, not being able to fight back as much was definitely one of the key points of the game. But I do like the idea of a bit of underwater combat with a great white shark. Now, the main features are going to have you exploring, crafting, farming, building, and of course, surviving as we improve upon all of the equipment and the abilities that we've got. So the team have said we're going to be exploring multiple biomes to find different species of wildlife and rarer and ever increasing loot and resources. So we'll be able to use these things to craft many weapons, food, tools, and of course, an actual shelter for ourselves. Now, whether we'll be able to build an underground shelter is something that we're not really too sure of. There's definitely a bit in there where you can definitely build a cabin up on land. So I don't think it's going to be that way. So we'll be able to go down and build massive structures under the sea. I don't think that's going to be happening in this. Now, it looks like the areas that we can visit, they do look sort of laboratory and office-esque. So those could be parts of the Fortune um, military facility that we're going in and just visiting and trying to get loot from and other bits and bobs. Now, of course, we're going to have to hunt and farm for our own food as well, most survival games, really. Whether we're going to be able to find things that will keep us going, like the nutrient bars in Subnautica, or whether we're going to have to craft everything from scratch and go back to sort of caveman abilities and work our way up from the very beginning. I do hope that is the way, rather than the futuristic tech type thing. Um, I do think it's a bit more nitty-gritty would be quite cool. Now, we did see combat there on land with actual weaponry, and... 
Those are, unfortunately, for those of you that do like PvP, are not other players. You'll be going across, finding all sorts of different people, scavengers, that are going to be looting for resources and trying to survive just like you. So, those are things that are going to be on land, and then, obviously, we have all the strange sea creatures, like the Great White and whatever the hell that alien thing was, that we're going to have to contend with. Whether we're going to be able to build more detailed weaponry like actual submarines with torpedoes and stuff like that i don't know the craft that we can see in the game there's not much of a giveaway on it it doesn't look like it's something that's been built it looks like something that maybe has been found so we could have to find vehicles dotted around to build them up rather than go out and fully craft a vehicle from scratch now it did say that the fortune was filled with other scientists so could we go against those down in the actual underground facility as it's sunk to the bottom and we're running around? There's bits that you can see just going around it, having a little bit of a wander around. Will we come across enemies in there? Hopefully those are going to be more creepy, dark, dingy, and a little bit freaky. So we'll have to wait and see what they do with that. But what do you guys think about Sonoris? Does it look good? Are you interested in it? If you are, drop a like on the video and stick around for much more. We'll be covering this as and when we get more news on it. As I mentioned, there's n this is all the news that there is out there. They do have a Discord, YouTube, Twitter, all of that stuff. But there's not really too much information. There's little snippets, um, little bits and bobs. But other than that official gameplay trailer that's been playing in the background, their last teaser was almost a year ago. So there's been nothing new since then, other than a few shorts here and there. So it is a shame there's not really much more news about it, but from what we've seen and the few work in progress videos that they do have on their channel, it looks really good. And despite the development team not really having much of a name and not being too much out there, it's a very indie team. Um, it does look quite good and like they're holding their own. I do love some of the weapon animations and how things are looking under the water. It has that really scary vibe. But that same vibe that Subnautica has where you want to plow through and find all the interesting things that are lurking down beneath the uh, the ocean. Um, going through the caves and hunting things down was one of the best, best parts about Subnautica. And I really hope that this does have that and isn't too much of a sway on the action side. But I do like that idea of having the action embedded in there as well. Being able to fight some of those bigger creatures like the Great Whites. And having that underground, underwater weaponry that we're going to be coming across. Very excited for this one. But what do you guys think? Do you think it looks good? Do you think it's something that we'll see this year? Or whether it's going to be later down the line? There's no release date yet. does look like there's a lot of... Um, a lot of attention on that recent trailer that's been playing in the background but everything else on their channel has barely a hundred views so this could be something that catapults they might try and push things out a little bit faster because of the attention that they've got hopefully we do see more development progress over the next few weeks but let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below for now we're going to wrap that one up there and we'll be back tomorrow with some icarus thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one